Oh yeah, continuing on as well as the last topic to go on, can we just make another, can we just emphasise one more time why it's important for clubs nowadays to please, for the love of God, put out more recorded sets inside of a club, on a club now, whatever it may be. Please, we need more DJ recorded sets. We need them from clubs, please. Because I swear to you, that will do way more for getting people to buy tickets and for attending your clubs than putting up random live streams that they've done. Live streams are not a good reflection of what a DJ is capable of. Club sets are, because clubs are the times where people turn it on. I know I've turned it on in that way. I know if you're a professional DJ, you probably do that as well because you're so, you know, kind of autopilot. So when you go to a club, you just bang out your fucking sets and you keep it going. But also, the energy that you get from, a, from the club itself, from the fucking audience, from the dancers, from the ravers, from the vibe, from the drugs, from the drinks that kind of impacts and adds to the whole thing that you're doing there behind the booth so with the introduction of the discord archive of over 800 plus dj sets people have been you know trawling through them and seeing what's there i've obviously mentioned my favorite which is the david vunk that i've been fucking banging out the gym recently but one that's been really been received very well especially on the techno subreddit has been this particular one for courtesy of dax j <laughs> played at the school in december 2023 just before it's closing actually and he played for a total of six hours they recorded up to five hours of the set and everyone is going crazy for this set and again i'm not the biggest dax j fan i almost thought like he kind of fell off but hearing some sets of him where he's actually playing to an audience not just a live stream um you know to in front of a wall and actually hearing club sets from him he's as good as ever i just think he kind of had a little bit of a businessy techno phase where he was kind of lost in the source but he's back to his best and this is another good example of, of like no dax j is actually still that guy you just need to fucking listen to him when he's obviously playing in a club but we don't all get the opportunity to because he plays in some of the best locations the best markets so maybe if you're not there you can't see him but if he does come to your city you're gonna want to see him after you listen to this set dax j at the school at amsterdam yeah honestly i wish more clubs would do this i know it's probably hard i know a lot of clubs don't want to do it maybe the, the the artists themselves the booking agents the managers are a little bit picky about nah not letting their artists fucking do these type of things but this is important this is the way that you get people to come to clubs, especially nowadays where a lot of club nights are being postponed or cancelled last minute people are cancelling whole tours tickets aren't selling bloody blah 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 
I think if you really want to get people out to come to your club nights, this is one of the great ways to do it. Actually, actually record some of those DJ sets and put them out there for people to listen to and then let people kind of get pumped and hyped on, on hearing those sets and being like, you know what, I need to go to that club. Like I did years ago. Years ago, I would read event reviews or club night reviews from RA of club nights in fucking Robert Johnson or Bergheim or wherever maybe, and I'd fantasize about going to his place and be like, oh my God, I can't imagine how that'll be once I put it myself. And then you actually listen to a recording is set from that fucking club and you're like oh my god i need to visit there and i think the same thing happens with this archive so this archive has been a fucking amazing um bit of you know media that we've been able to all kind of consume this year so far i think um, it's a sad thing obviously that the school is closed but it's amazing that they've made all this stuff available for us for free to listen to and i really do implore you if you're a techno fan if you're a house fan if you're just a music fan dance music fan like myself i recommend that you check out the archive that this school has got up there i'll put the link in the description for you can check out yourself but i swear to god it's absolutely amazing and this dax j set courtesy of dax j at discord is absolutely phenomenal as well and restore your feeling in dax j and what it's about so i do recommend you check it out i do recommend you check it out okay that has been the actually show episode number seven something whatever number has been 